Everyone's always asking about how AI can help us design inside of a web context. And a lot of these tools enable us to upload designs, upload Figma files to the AI, whether it be Loverboard or Cursor, and allow us to create the designs that we've already created. Or similarly, inspiration. It could be a montage of different images and inspiration and things like that for it to consider to then build the app. So what I'm going to do today is take a look at an array of vibe coding tools and coding tools like Cursor and see how they handle a design that I've had made for my app Jupyter Chat. And we're just going to assess the result and give my opinions on where I think it falls over. And at the end of the day, I don't know what the results are going to be. So We'll jump into it, we'll take our design and upload it and just pit all of these tools against each other to see who will come out on top. So let's set off cursor. So we've got image, I've got a V project basically set up here, good to go. I'll see what it does with the project that's already set up. And let's go um, create an AI chat application like the image attached. And let's see how we get on. It's doing a lot of thinking here. It's starting to set up like a next project here. I think that's because of my global rules, to be honest. So let's go project rules. Always, uh, this project is a Vite React type script project. Let's do that. Have it done it. Let's see how we get on. Right, so. I mean, we've got some kind of a weird hybrid of the design. If I bring it back up, it's got some of the rough layout, rough elements and things like that, but then also kind of just done its own thing. Like that's purple for some reason. So what I get from it is that it's inferring stuff from the design it's getting clues it's get it's looking at certain aspects but not looking at the real details of it it's not an option for like designing or achieving a specific kind of design i think it's more tailored to someone who doesn't really know what they want they've seen something they like and sort of want something similar but it is functional i mean i don't know what yeah there's nothing going on here so we need to we need to set all this up for a start but yeah, I think that's a really interesting result. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. Let's try Replit. Let's attach a file here to the chat. I've designed a chat. I was thinking, do I do a big prompt on what I want the app to do and blah, blah, blah. But no, let's just go for the design first approach um, and see how far we get. A design a chat application, view their usage. Let's just see how we get on. I don't want to spend too long kind of prompting. Uh, so object and prepare plan, AI chat. Cool. Let me propose a comprehensive plan for your project. Let's open up Bolt. I haven't used Bolt yet and there'll either be a video coming or, or have already been released on Bolt. But this might be a good use. Let's use the same prompt. Let's go to Loverboard 2. Let's do their Figma import. I think, so they actually want you to use the plugin. So let's just do that. See how we're getting on. I'm going to the elegant AI. Well, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. So again, it's done a bunch right, but it's also done a bunch wrong. Now, again, if we just take a look at the Figma design here, like it's got the usage there and it's actually used the, the the correct you know what's done in design but the colors are incorrect that's like a darker red the selection there is not the same what was this one this is a bolt it's nearly there but it's not quite there you'd put all that time and effort into a design okay look at replit now but we are looking very i mean it's got selection there I mean, again, there's plenty not right, but it is closer. Nothing is functional, but then we really never gave it an awful lot to really go off. I mean, just as a sidetrack, this is why I love uh, Replit. It's asking me for API keys. It's so much more thorough than 
lovable and Bolt. Bolt has done the skin, it's fine, it kind of works, but it's not really, I mean, it's creating new chats. Let's try and refresh to see if those chats are saved. See, those chats aren't even saved, so it's uh, it's not working from that respect. But Replit, it's so much more thorough than any of the other tools, and this is why I love it. And the AI is a hell of a lot closer. Right, so I've actually just copied the design over into my Figma and have selected the frame and ran that plugin and it's doing all sorts of stuff. So I did this, plugin, builder.io, I searched for it, export the design, let's see what it does. Okay, right, we're just gonna use Loverball. Cool, let's see what it does. So again, it's like inferring a bunch of stuff text the font which is cool okay so it's kind of got the rounded corners here i mean no you failed just get that out of the way but it's got a few things sorted it's not, still not quite there i mean it's done it pretty quickly actually i like the drop downs uh Tell me, I mean, it's not going to work because again, I've not put any, um, yeah, not quite there. Even that doesn't work. Right, so as you saw, none of them really came close to the design itself, or at least if you're providing a design on something, then you obviously want it to look exactly like the design that you provided, which again, none of these tools did. If you want to provide inspiration, I think, if you want to provide a bunch of files that have different looks and feels and bring it together for those that don't really care about design or they care about design, but they're not, they're not designers themselves, to be able to provide inspiration is a great, great step forward. For people like me, certainly, great step forward for creating something that's less generic and out of the box, which you would do if you provided no design guidance, just a little bit of a more personal touch with it. And the only other thing to consider now is that you're left with just an empty shell of an application. So it's almost like you need to approach it with the architecture and the build of the function of the app first, and then provide the design or whatever. But I still, I don't think this is a comfortable workflow. And I think the nuances of design probably need to be done by code later on in the process and kind of leaving it up to the developer to do so. Well, I mean, it answered the question, should you design with AI vibe coding? Then the answer is absolutely not. They're great for the structure and the actual build out of your application rather than the design itself. So I hope this helps. Cheers for tuning in. Thank you to everyone here who has subscribed to my Patreon. You really help the channel out a lot, as do you by watching and liking these videos. Like, subscribe, and until next time, have a good one.